Hey guys, it says I'm live. I might get some feedback. I have the other monitor up that uh, will go live here in a second, but I want to mute it. There we go. I think I got it in time. Just wanted to keep an eye on how many people are in the uh, in the uh, auction, so we'll we'll get started when we get a couple more people in here. I almost forgot to turn my microphone on. Can you guys all hear me all right and everything? Is everything good? I see we have Never Too Old. I'm glad you got your stuff. Uh, Cindy Rosen. We have Penny Day. Penny Day's in here. So just let me know if you guys can hear me. I have the live chat up. Actually, I have top chat up. I probably should put live chat instead of top chat. If you're in here, please put uh, live chat instead of top chat. We got Vivid Waves. Awesome. Uh, right now we have 10 people watching. Got a, a variety of stuff tonight. Uh, more video games. We have, what's up, Stephen? <clears throat> Travis, uh, more video games. Uh, I said we had some Playboy magazines. I don't know if anybody wants those, but we're going to try it. Uh, hats again for you guys. Bargain Resell is in here. Um, Karen, if you're in here, uh, I still haven't got your payment. I'm sure what happened is the same thing. And uh, big guy, one, five, three, four, whatever your name is, uh, I sent yours out this morning because you happen to misspell spell my uh, PayPal address as Silk Toys instead of Slick Toys. But I registered Silk Toys. So if that ever happens again, I'll still get the payment. So I did that and your payment came up. So yours was sent out this morning. Karen, though, um, I'm not sure what happened with you had two, one for 65 and one for 29. So if you're in here and if I do see you bidding or if you're in here, I will I will get that fixed. We just have to get to the PayPal address that you see. Where, where is it? Right there. And make sure you spell it right. Money from Mars is in here. We have 15 people. So we're starting to get some people in here. That's good. Guys, I got to tell you, never give up at yard sales. I'm going to pull something out and show you guys. Uh, let's see if I can find it. You know, it's way over here. When you're out searching for things, um, no matter what time it is. So this was at about one o'clock in the afternoon and all the other yard sales were closing down. I found a whole lot of video games, some of which you guys will have the opportunity to bid on tonight. Uh, but in that, and I didn't know what was in there. I just saw that there was 38 games all together. There's some Wii U, PlayStation 2, some Xbox 360, and some uh, GameCube. So I thought, well, We'll see what he wants for all. He took $35 for the whole lot. Well, this was one of the games in there. Uh, I want you guys to go ahead and look that up on eBay and see what that goes for. I have it listed right now. Uh, this one should go for well over $100. Just this one game. It does have all its stuff in there, too. So that was good. That was a good find. But that was at 1 o'clock in the afternoon in a town where I never find games. So never give up when you're out. But we have 19 people. I think that's good. A new Paper Mario just came out. Good timing on that. Yeah, but that is good. Good bargain, Reese. I'm glad you got him. I hope everything was all right. No, I'm not selling this one. <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know that that, uh, that is possible and things like that do happen. So uh, we're going to start off with a small lot first, and I'm going to switch the camera around. But just keep at it, guys. You'll find this stuff out in the wild. It's going to get a little weird for a second here while I... Fix the camera. We're trying a new camera angle, so we'll see how it works. Look at that. It's kind of nice. You can see some of the lots behind me there. Uh, get a little bit farther down. I want to be over here so you guys can actually see what's going on. All right, there we go. I just got to get something on it, and we'll be good. All right, I think that's a little bit better camera angle than we had last week, but... Uh, that, We'll go over the rules of the auction first. Uh, you guys know that uh, there is no registration, zero registration. Uh, on most everything, there'll never be a starting bet. I do have at least one lot tonight that I do have a starting bet on. You'll see why when we get there. Uh, and just pay after the, uh, the auction is over, immediately after your particular auction. The PayPal address is Slick Toys, S-L-I-K, no C, and not Silk. Slick toys at yahoo.com. 
All right. You guys ready? By the way, if you ever get to Walmart and you're thirsty, these things are awesome. And they're like 57 cents. And I picked the wrong one. This is Mandarin orange. I'm supposed to drink the orange cream, but eh, I opened the wrong one. All right. We're going to start with the first lot. Uh, this is the first lot. This is the smallest lot of the night, but it has some good value. And we'll pull them out one by one. These are Lego minifigs, and they're all Simpsons. So you got Maggie. You got uh, the neighbor there. Uh, what's his name? Uh, geez, my mind escapes me right now. Uh, you got Marge. You got another Marge. Two Marges. 23 watching. All right. You've got Homer. You've got, I don't know, that's itchy, right? Or is that scratchy? We were Flanders. I don't know why. My mind can't think tonight. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, you have Lisa with her saxophone. You have Krusty the Clown. You have Grandpa. All Legos minifigures. Uh, Mr. Burns. Now, this one I know uh, itself because it has the accessories. Well, sorry about the lighting in here. I'm going to have to get better lighting, too. But it has the uh, the rod and the fish tank. This one goes for about $15 like this. So that's uh, Mr. Burns. You have, I think his name is Nelson with his club. Uh, and then you have Maggie's little bear. And you have another club. I'm not sure what this club is for. And then there's some bases, the bases that go underneath these guys. So we got Scott in at $5, and then there's a pie on that base. I don't know what the pie goes to. Scott is in at $5. Guys, everything's going to sell tonight, no matter what the bid is. Don't let Scott win, though. 10 from Vivid Waves. Frugal City, you came in a little bit late. $10 from Vivid Waves. So we got Lisa with her horn. We got Krusty, 11 with Scott. Homer. Uh, scratchy or itchy or the mouse, whatever his name is. Uh, the guy with the club there. I, this must be long to him too. I don't know. Uh, two Marges. You got Grandpa. Did I pass Homer? Homer down there. Flanders with all his accessories. You've got Maggie with her bear and Mr. Burns with his accessories and four bases with a pie. We are at $11 to Bearded Picker. <laughs> you should do it again. If you just wanted to outbid Bearded Picker, you should outbid him again. I mean, it, nothing makes him feel worse than being outbid. And it'll come in this nifty little box, guys. We have 25 people watching tonight. That's good. It's good for my auctions. All right. Now, here's one thing I did forget to do is set myself up for the once, twice, three times. I'm sorry. I know I said my brother might be here tonight, but uh, we didn't get together this week. So hopefully next week. It's my fault, totally my fault. I just, I've been busy and uh, didn't get him in here, but we'll, we'll have him here and he'll uh, hopefully be on next week. So I'm flying solo again. So we're at 11 once. I'm still a rookie at this, guys. Oh, don't let Scott win this. Scott, did you get your, uh, your jersey and how was it? Club goes to the mouse. Okay. So there, there we go. I'm not much of a Simpsons fan. I, I stopped watching Simpsons years ago, so I don't know really what's going on with that. At 12 to Eric Gunter. Well, you'll get it. It's at priority, I think. Eric Gunter is in at 12. Five minutes before the auction, I wasn't ready, so... Kind of catching everything up right now. We're going to go 12 once. Again, Karen, if you're in here, uh, I didn't get your payments. So I'm sure there was misspelling in the uh, PayPal address. I did get big guys at, uh, eventually, but uh, Karen, I haven't got yours if you're in here. 26 or 29 and 65. 12 twice. Come on, Scott. You can't let you can't let Eric beat you out. It's good. I mean, you'll pay for it with Mr. Burns right there. These are all in good condition. These came out of the hoarder house, but there's nothing wrong with them. The bases are a bit dusty, but other than that, they're 
pretty good. We'll give it another second or two and we'll sell it. I'm going to pull up my PayPal so that's all set and ready to go too so we can see so I can see when you guys pay. All right, we're going to say 12 sold to Eric. All right, $12. Eric. Oh, too late, Scott. You came in after the sold. That's all right. Well, I'll hook you up with something else sometime. Gotcha. Eric, $12 to Eric. I'm sure there's some sort of delay, and this thing will have this kind of thing will happen once in a while. Uh, but got to be speedy. Uh, on my screen, guys, uh, BP is after Eric, so uh, I have to go by the official screen here, and I'm sure you guys know how that works. Yeah, I see on the on the non live chat, but on the live chat, it was uh, it was twelve sold Eric, and then Bearded comes in after that. So Scott, forgive me. I, I, I didn't mean to screw screw you up there, but I already sold it. So uh, we're going to sell that one to Eric. Or I could just ban people. All right. We have two Nintendo DSs here. This one is a DSi. We'll turn that on for you so you can see it works. Nothing wrong with this guy. It does work. Uh, do not have a charger for that one. Uh, I'll give it, I gave it plenty of time, Scott. And this one is, a, I think, a DS Lite. Yeah, a DS Lite. Now, before you bid too much on these, uh, this DS Lite has some issues. It's like discolored like crazy. There's a lot of discoloration, and it, it doesn't want to come clean. It's up underneath. Uh, this one does come with a charger, and we have three games. The games are... Food Frenzy, Ratatouille, I think that is. What's this one? Oh, my eyes. I think it's got a little hamster on it. A little hamster game. We're at $30 with bargain resell. And a baseball game. Word World Series Baseball or something like that. So those are your three. This one I think is a little older, but you can see. I mean, I don't know if it picks up real good on the camera, but this one's discolored pretty good. But they do work. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, we're at $30 with bargain resell. I could put a game in. Hey, you even get a picture of me. See that? By the way, I clipped my fingernails this time, so you guys don't have to see that nastiness. Let's go ahead and put a game in there. You can see that I tested them really good because there is a, there's a picture of me. I even tested the camera. So we'll see if it loads a game. There it goes. Loads right up. We'll do that with the other one so we can see that too. Thirty dollars bargain resale, good deal. Uh, I don't know how to make this one work. We'll go thirty once. Remember, guys, if you want something, get in quickly because the delay will. Uh, Oni, we want once. The delay will get you, you bearded piggered, and you don't want that. Uh, hit the screen. How do you start it? Oh, right there. Okay. I don't have um, little pencil thingies for them. I'll check on that, Eric. All right, there you go. So both of them play games. Both of them work. I will include the games with it. We're going to go $30 twice. $30 going twice. All right, Eric, I got you. Payment received. And all in, all done. 
30. We're going to say sold, guys. Good deal, uh, bargain resale. Gotcha. So $30 to bargain resale. You guys asked for some consoles, so I will have one more console tonight with some games. Remember S-L-I-K? You guys did this right last week, most of you. So. All right, those two are sold. Uh, as promised, I do have some Jurassic World figures, and there's a lot of them here. Um, I didn't I don't know my dinosaurs, so it was really hard for me to look these up, and I was looking them up today, and I said, you know what? That's going to be an au auction lot. Somebody already has Slick with a C, so it doesn't work. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do these Jurassic World figures and uh, get those sold. So in all, you're going to get one. This is a big T-Rex. Nothing's wrong with it. Well, there is... Uh, one that has a little bit of damage, and I'll point that out. But this is a big, big T-Rex guy. You push the button, and he opens his mouth. Uh, this this is the guy with a little bit of damage, but this is one of those that have the battle damage on it. So these are the good ones. Uh, this comes down. Let me do it off camera. There we go. comes down, and then you hit it, and it goes up. Uh, but on the end of his tail, now this guy goes for thirty dollars if he's perfect. But on the end of his tail, I don't know if you can see it there, but it does have a little breakage at the end of the tail. That's two. Remember Jurassic World, guys. Uh, you can see on the sides there. I don't know. I can't. I got to get better lighting. But it does say JW there. Uh, this is a, I believe, a Velociraptor. So that's three. Another Velociraptor. That's four. Uh, I think another Velociraptor. That's five. Oh, a tiny little guy. Now, this is the one I didn't know how to look up because I don't know what he is. Uh, he's a two-horned guy. Uh, we got ten at Steven Strait. Bearded, you're going to have to do better than that. This one also has a little damage, but it's not the flippy kind of damage, so I don't know if there's a difference between that. When you pull his tail, his head pops out. See? So that's how that goes. Bearded at 11. Uh, here's another little T-Rex guy. All Jurassic Worlds. Let's see. Okay. And another Velociraptor. So that's a big pile. 12 to Stephen Strait. Uh, you guys know the, the fishy looking guy here. I don't know what he's called. But $30 by itself, if it's in better condition, I'd, I'd say at least $15 for that one now the way it is. But these things go pretty good. So we're going to count them down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight Jurassic World. He's not a Triceratops because he's only got uh, two horns. Try meaning three, I guess. Yeah. out again so you guys can see them. Well dollars. That's a hell of a deal. Good thing uh, Steven's in Pennsylvania. It's pretty easy to ship. Steven, did you get your stuff? I think I sent yours in two boxes. I'm not... Buy Ceratops. There you go. He, he can swing either way. He's a buy Ceratops. So we got that pile of Jurassic World. We got Philly Picker. All right. Philly Picker, I got to say, I love your videos. Um, I watch every one you put out. So. Uh, Wubba Dubba in it, 15. Wubba, I, I say your name wrong every time, but that's all right. Wubba Lubba. I've never had the Mandarin Orange before, but that stuff is really good. I didn't think I'd like it. I like the cream ones. Stephen Strait. Is in at six. Oh no! Wait, hide and seek picker. That is Dan. Came in at sixteen, just before you, Stephen. So you have to do a little bit better than that. 
you guys know that these Jurassic World figures do pretty well. All right, I don't know what these do individually. I didn't look them up. Bubba, bubba, lubba, dubba. 18 to Steven Strait. No, you're at 16. No, you're at 18. You're right. <laughs> now, if you guys haven't checked out Philly Picker, um, I don't know if what, somebody wants to uh, put a link to his uh, channel in the chat, but uh, smaller channel uh, right now, but a very good channel. I enjoy watching every minute of it. So $20 to Philly Picker, 22 to Steven Strait. I like to support channels. I like to support all kinds of channels, and uh, that's a good one. So, uh, 22 to Stephen Street. Move this stuff off. I don't want to lose things. I put everything in individual little boxes tonight, so everything is in a nice little package. We're going to go 22 once. Everything is in its place, so no, nothing is hard to find and nothing gets lost. We did uh, some uh, retail arbitrage, and some of these boxes they, they come from a store that cuts out the front of the box and you just buy right out of the box, and they were perfect for this sort of thing. So, twenty-two dollars to Stephen Strait, going twice. <laughs> Wabby. I think it's Wubba. Wubba. I'm going to give it a couple more seconds, guys, and then we'll go ahead and call this one. Steven, you're getting a great deal on these. These are good guys. Uh, I hope all that stuff that you bought from me last auction was really good, too. Uh, you got some good deals. But this guy's a pretty cool one. Uh, if you play with his tail, I think he's that mouse. No. There you go. All right, we're going to sell it, guys. All in, all done. We're going to go 22 to Stephen Strait. Sold. Just say California and he gets mad. All right, Stephen, thanks for the bid. You know what to do. And bargain resell on a check. I know you said you gave me a payment here. 22 SS. I'm just going to put you down as SS. What's up, Eric? And yes, uh, bargain resale, I did get your payment. That's a big guy. Punch, what's up, Scott? All right, we're going to go ahead and sell the next lot. Do some... Uh, I, got, I got a really cool one tonight. I don't even know if I'm allowed to sell it, but we're going to try. Uh, now that we have a few people in here, let's see how many we got in here right now. 32, so that's a pretty good amount. We're going to go ahead and do it. Um, this is vintage tobacco items. Not only vintage tobacco items, but actual, you know, collectible packaging. That's what this is, collectible packaging. But these are all really super old. They still have the... Uh, tax stamp on them. This one is empty, but this one is uh, Chew Brown's Mule Tobacco. So Brown Mule Tobacco, Brown's Mule Tobacco, an empty box. I think that box there goes for 15 or $20, but that is in fantastic condition. Nothing wrong with it. So there's one. This is Bucko, Plain Bucko Clippings, Utica Tobacco Company, Utica, New York. Now somebody at some point put these in plastic. They didn't come that way, uh, but they must have had a sealing machine, to, and it's kept these in really good shape over the years. I did not attempt to take them out, uh, but that is Bucko Clippings Tobacco. Uh, I wouldn't suggest trying to put this in your pipe and smoke it, but there's Big John Plug Cut. I did see something like this on eBay uh, from this brand. Looks like they had price stickers on here, too, at one point. But uh, Big John Plug Cut, John Vincent Tobacco Company, St. Louis, USA. These are pretty cool. 
they're all still sealed and new. So if there's no if there's no interest in this, I'll just put them away. But they're really cool. You can see the uh, tobacco stamp hasn't been open on that one. Here's another one with it. You can see it's all the way down and around. This one I did find peach peachy scrap ribbon cut. These are I don't know what age these are, but they're I'm gonna guess. 1930s, 40s. This one looks older. Four dollars to Mike Sherwood. They're gonna sell to the highest bidder. So, and this one looks to be the oldest of all. This is Spuntatura Petri Fermentata. I think I said that wrong. Uh, also, never been opened. All in there. Uh, you can choose to take this plastic off if you wish. Uh, this is how I found them. They shrink wrap them or they seal them actually it looks they had a really good sealer uh eight dollars to mike sherwood uh they had a really good sealer so these are originals they're just packaged um so that they didn't break open and go bad because these are paper containers and they didn't want them to open so you have one two three four five remember the uh bronze mule is empty the bucko clippings ichi scrap uh, Big John's plug cut and however you say that one are all sealed. So we're at eight dollars and it'll weigh under a pound, so it'll probably ship first class. It might weigh just at a pound. So you'll get all of those guys. This is just a test to see how this stuff does. I I don't know. I saw it at a yard sale. I picked it up. So I I don't know. I don't even know if it's legal or so. It's, I'm sure it is. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with selling these uh, vintage packages of uh, uh, weeds. Empty. Or they're open. They're full. Full. Full packages. $8 to Mike Sherwood. Going once. Good deal. If you're into that sort of thing. I'm going to guess it's all stale by now. They they are cool as hell, Dan. Um, that's why I bought them. I wish I wanted them too, <laughs> but I don't. I used to be a smoker, but not anymore. So uh, I can tell you I paid more than $8 for them, but not much more. So, But that's okay. That's part of the game. When we do uh, these auctions, uh, sometimes you win and most times you win, sometimes you lose, and that's fine with me too. So, because I'll make it up overall. I have, I do have too much. Well, Dan has too much. But all right, we're going to go eight dollars twice. I'll go ahead and put them back in the box. These, are, these little boxes are perfect for what I am doing here. You're going to get a great deal there, Mike, if you win. <laughs> All right, we're going to sell it. Sold. Mike, eight bucks. Yeah, great deal, Mike, and uh, I hope you enjoy them. I hope you sell them for lots of money. I couldn't find much on them. I didn't really look that hard uh, because I don't even – I didn't know if I was even allowed to sell this sort of thing on eBay, but uh, we're good to go. So, Mike, you got a great deal. Thank you. All right. Let's do some more video games. Uh, these are all PS2. It's a little bit smaller lot tonight. Uh, because this is all the PS2 games I got with that Paper Mario that I had showed you guys earlier. Uh, so you got Fight Night Round 3. Whoa! <laughs> and they all look pretty decent. I, I didn't test any of them. I haven't had the systems out. But it, that one comes with its uh, uh, manual and disc. 
You got Madagascar again, greatest hits version, manual and disc. You have Alvin and the Chipmunks, manual and disc. This one doesn't have the original case, but this is Madden 2006, manual and disc. You got Tiger Woods 2004, manual and disc. You've got Finding Nemo, manual and disc. NASCAR Thunder 2004, manual and disc. The Incredibles. Just disc. Uh, SpongeBob movie. SpongeBob movie. Somebody paid fifteen dollars for this used. Uh, just a disc. And Fight Night two thousand four. So I think you got two Fight Nights in here. Round three and two thousand four. Manual and disc. All right, let the bidding begin. You have one, turn them this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games, guys. We got ten dollars to Mr. Robert Bowman. Ten PS2 games. That's a dollar a game. Play night 2004. Uh, SpongeBob movie. The Incredibles. NASCAR Thunder 2004. Finding Nemo. Tiger Woods. PGA Tour 2004, Madden 2006, Owen and the Chipmunks, Madagascar, and Fight Night Round 3. $10 to Mr. Robert Bowman. Good deal. Ten bucks. One dollar. Oh, bargain resale comes in at eleven. So it's just over a dollar a game. I am making lots of noise. Twelve dollars to Reno Baby Dragons. I think that's his name. Reno? Yeah. I'd, I'd get so. There are Nintendo games, Dan. You just hold your horses. We are at 15 to Robert Bowman. I've got lots of things tonight. So I can't just do things because somebody wants me to do them. No, there are, there, I think there's 15 Nintendo games in there. Maybe a little more, more off to, to count them up. But we will get to those. 10 PS2 games. We are at $15 going once. Good games, guys. Well, I don't know if they're good games, but they're fun to play. The SpongeBob, SpongeBob games are always fun. I do like the boxing games myself. Be great to bundle with a PS2 system or just to play. I'm part. I'm particular also to golfing games. I go fifteen dollars to Robert Bowman twice. I play. There's a. I don't know what the name of the game is. I play on the phone every day. It's a golfing game. dollars Stephen, I got your payment. I th I'm not sure if I told you that already. We're going to sell this, guys. Sold. 15 to Mr. Bowman.
All right, we'll write that down. Sold. I don't have to write sold on there. Why did I do that? Amazon apparently having major problems. Haven't had a sale in three hours. I don't know. I don't go by the hour. I go by the day. But if anybody else has had that problem, maybe you could help Wubba out. Uh, what was that? $15 to Robert. All right, guys. We're going to sell... do the hats. Now, this is a really good lot of hats, guys. I'm not, when I say this is my best lot of hats ever, I'm not joking. Uh, it may not be as many hats, but there's some good stuff in here. So, we'll start out with, I don't know why he did this, but there's a, <laughs> there's a string in here. Uh, I'll let you cut that off. This is a vintage San Antonio Spurs. Uh, it has the uh, spurs on the side. Uh, this is made by the Twill Sports Specialties, which I believe is a Nike company or was a Nike company back in the day. It's been worn. The guy told me he lived in San Antonio for a while and uh, he had to buy a hat. So there's one. All right. Uh, here's a vintage Miami Dolphins hat. Vintage Miami. I'm sure these hats are... $15 a piece, 12 to $15 a piece of the low end. Some of these are better. Some of these are worse. But they're all decent hats. This is probably the best hat I've done. The best hat lot I've done. So that's Miami Dolphins. Uh, here's another Miami Dolphins. It's probably the oldest hat in the lot. Uh, at least it's the Dolphins ones. Uh, the foam has gone in it. Uh, but that is a Miami Dolphins. It's been worn. Uh, this is a very, very old new era. $10 to Stephen Strait. Very old New Era hat, but you can see it's it's lost all its shape. But I couldn't find one like that on uh, eBay. There's another Dolphins. This is probably still vintage, but a little bit newer. This is a really nice one, though. Uh, it doesn't look like... Oh, it's brand new. So, yeah, this one's never been worn. It's still got the cardboard in it. Uh, this is made by Twins. Official NFL. So, nice hat. Lots of things going on with Amazon today, it looks like. All right. Uh, this one, uh, this one I know has value. Uh, it has the big spell out. This is this is a good ad here. Uh, it has the, uh, this is all embroidered. Uh, this one is made by, it just says Team NFL in it. Team NFL, but that is a really good hat right there. I'm not even to the, the best hat yet, so. So far, we're up to one, two, three, four, five hats. Very good hat. Believe that the background is so good. Uh, we got a corduroy Coca-Cola hat. If that tells you how old that one is, uh, very nice shape. I don't think it's ever been worn. It doesn't look worn. Uh, this is made by T. Dot I. That's all it says, T dot I. But I don't know if you can see the logo. It's all embroidered. And on a uh, corduroy hat, that is a really uh, good Coca-Cola hat. 17 to Stephen Strait. Here's another Coca-Cola hat with the cord. Definitely vintage. It's a little dusty. Need a good cleaning. But this one's definitely been worn. Uh, it says made in the USA, but I don't see uh, a brand in it. This is embroidered. All right, guys. We're getting to the good ones. Now, you guys, if you sell hats, you know that what I'm about to show you is going to be some really good sellers. So here you go. Now, this one isn't the best out of the lot, but here's a Raiders hat. Uh, this one's been worn a lot. I think this was his daily driver, if you ask me, because it, it's been worn. Uh, this is a Reebok, but it's been worn. So this isn't the best one, but it's a good hat. Raiders. Here is another Raiders hat for the camo. Uh, it says 66. I think that's the year that the Raiders uh, came into the league. I'm not 100% on that. Uh, new era. That's a little fuzz. And it's a 5650. Good Raiders hat there. Still not the great one. So. Getting there. This is, uh, is going to make you guys bid right here. 
This is all embroidered, the really thick, thick, thick embroidery. $19, good. Raiders, with the thick embroidered Raiders logo on the side. Uh, this is a Mitchell and Ness. It is, looks like it's been worn some. Uh, it says NFL Vintage Collection, Mitchell and Ness on the inside. $19, they're yellow brick road reselling, getting a great deal here. This one is definitely a good hat. I've looked this one up. Uh, this style with the whatever these are on the side does really well generally. This is probably a twenty-five to thirty dollar hat by itself. So you at the, uh, right now you guys are at twenty, so you're getting all your money back in one hat right there. So it says NFL on the back. It's also a Mitchell and Ness, and it's a vintage collection. And the best hat of them all, and I hesitated putting it in here, but we're going to do it, is this Vintage Raiders. Um, this is a, looks like a, it's embroidered. Yeah, it, it looks embroidered. This is a very old uh, 90s, probably, maybe late 80s. Uh, it says officially licensed product, sports specialties. So uh, this hat I wasn't able to find. Uh it's a little floppy. It'll need reshaped, but it's in fantastic condition. We're at $25 of Stephen Strait. But you guys know that Raiders hats right now do really well, and these specific three, this last three that I showed you, are really good hats. Um, I think this is a $20, $25 hat. This is definitely at least a $25 hat. Oh, Laughing Picker came in at $50. Bucks. And this one, I don't know. This is a really nice... Uh, Older Raiders hat that uh, I think might have some good value, but I couldn't find it. So we're at fifty dollars to Eric, laughing picker. You rock, my man. You know what I got here. So we're gonna count the hats and see how many's in this lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hats. Fifty five to Wubba. You guys must have seen something on that last hat. 60 to laughing picker. Like I said, I couldn't find it. I didn't look that hard. I I know you guys like hats. Swamp picker, what's up, Glenn? Selling some hats. Check that one out. Uh wish I'm gonna get better lighting for next week. I didn't realize the lighting in here was so poor. Maybe I can get some right now. Sixty dollars, Eric. A little more light over there. Sixty, sixty-nine. You think a lot like me. <laughs> Seventy-five to Eric. Uh, that didn't help much. I need a light on this side. Oh, I do have a light over here. Here we go. Got to remember how to turn it on. It's been a while since I used it. We are at seventy-five dollars. I'm a fan of money too. There we go. I think we got some good light over here now. All right, guys. That's better. Still not great. I'll have to get some light on the other side. $75 to Eric. Once. Going once. I've been holding off on these ones <laughs> because I wasn't sure uh, if I wanted to do this, but uh, I knew you guys would know what they are. Yeah, if you guys know what these are, these are worth some cash. Uh, this one particularly, I don't know. It could be a $200 hat for all I know. It could be a $5 hat. I don't know. I do know this one, and I do know that one. I'll check on that for you, Robert. Uh, we're going to go, what's up, wild man? We're going to go 75 twice. It would be my pleasure, Eric, if you win. Uh, got your, I got your payment, Robert. 76 to Steven Strait. Awesome. So you guys know that these three hats right here will likely pay that whole 76 or $80. So, but I threw the rest in there. The Dolphins hat, this is a really nice Dolphins hat. I know it's worth some good money, too. 
<laughs> if it's a ten thousand dollar hat, I I'm just thankful that somebody got it and was able to make some money on it. I will not be kicking my nuts, although I might think about it a little bit. <laughs> it won't be funny, but uh, we're gonna go eighty dollars once. But in these four hats alone, you probably get your eighty bucks back. So. Uh, Anybody know what era that is? It looks 80s, but sports specialties would be the old version of Nike for hats. So I'm going to guess early 90s, 80s, or probably early 90s on that one. We're going to go 80 twice to Eric. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a chance. Uh, I'll let it go a little bit longer than normal, but we're going to go ahead and put the hats away. Just so that you guys make sure, you know, you've done your research on these. I got them all in the box. And if they go to Eric, he doesn't live that far from me. <laughs> so we can, shipping will be cheap on that one. So I like that. All right, guys, all in and all done. I'm going to go sell it for 80 bucks to Eric. Sold it to Eric. That was a great buy, Eric. I, I know you know what you're doing on those ads. And I'm glad that uh, somebody who knew what they were doing, although everybody in this chat knows, but that's a, that's a great buy there. All right. See that? See what I said? Yeah, I'd like to know, Eric. Let me keep us informed, at least me informed, uh, what you get for that one that I wasn't sure of, that that oldest one. But like I said, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I, I definitely won. Eric's going to win. So, all right. This is a lot of Goosebumps books. Uh, these will be sent media mail. Um, Eric, if you're still in Ashtabula, you can stop and pick them up. Uh, let me know. If you're still in this area, I know you said you were coming up this way or you were this way the other day. So anyway, this is a lot of Goosebumps books. I don't know uh, particularly. I sold one lot for 25 bucks the other day that was smaller than this. I could add five books in it. I don't know what these will go for, but this is a monster survival guide. These will be shipped media mail unless you get something in your clothes and it goes in. Uh, monster survival guide. What was that? New message from an Am oh, Amazon cancellation request. So Amazon is still working because I just got a cancellation request. Uh, Goosebumps Slappies Tales of Horror. Uh, Goosebumps Most Wanted Trick or Trap. These are all in pretty decent shape. The kid uh, graduated from Goosebumps and went straight into Stephen King at the age of 11. So that's why he sold his books. Uh, Goosebumps Wanted the Human Mask. Goosebumps Most Wanted, The Haunter. Uh, Goosebumps Most Wanted, The Lizard of Oz. Oh, I see what they did there. Uh, Goosebumps Most Wanted, Zombie Halloween. Uh, Slappy World, Slappy Birthday to You. Goosebumps Horror Land, Creep from the Deep. Uh, be careful what you wish for. This looks like just a regular Goosebumps book, not one of the series ones. Yeah, they, I think these are from, let me see if I can see a date on one of these. They are probably newer. Let's see. 2008-ish. Uh, this one is Revenge of the Living Dummy. Orland, Most Wanted, A Nightmare on Clown Street. Yeah, this one might be older. I can look. I can look at that. I haven't looked any of these up because you know I'm lazy. I got them this weekend, so. Uh, yeah, this one is older. It's 1993. So I would, if you guys want to, I would look that one up. Goosebumps. Be careful what you wish for. While I'm finishing up here. Uh, Goosebumps Horrorland, Monster Blood for the bre for Breakfast. Goosebumps 
Horrorland, The Scream of the Haunted Mask. Uh, another Horrorland, Dr. Maniac versus Robbie Schwartz, I guess. And Night of the Living Dummy. Just a regular Goosebumps. This one I don't think is older, but it might be. These are, looks like a lot of them are scholastic. We'll give it a couple minutes. If nobody wants to bid on these, we'll throw them back in the, uh, that's a 2008 as well. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 Goosebumps books. 16 Goosebumps books. One older, or less 2008-ish. $5. I've already sold the one lot for what I... Um, what I paid for these, so whatever they go for. And like I said, they will be shipped media mail. They may take a little while to get to you, but uh, that is what happens. Steven Strait at 10. I think average on average, they go for four or five bucks a piece. Um, except for maybe that one, which I'm not sure because I didn't look, like I said, I didn't look any of them up. Uh, the ones I sold were in a series. So... It is what it is. I didn't didn't look them up. Ten dollars to Stephen Strait. You guys enjoying the auctions? Uh, do you want me to continue doing them? I plan on doing them. Uh, try to do them every Monday as long as I have stuff to sell. But uh, let me know what you think so far. Uh, we're gonna try to. What was in at fourteen? We're gonna try to do it every Monday night. There may be times that we don't. Uh, but generally we'll try to do this every Monday night. And, uh, if you guys like them, we'll keep doing them. And, uh, like I said, I'll try to get my brother up on in here. I don't know if he's listening tonight. Uh, I did post it on my Facebook. So I tried messaging him today because I had totally forgot about this whole thing uh, until the last minute. Cause we've been busy, uh, 14 to Wubba. All right, guys. That means I'm going to continue doing them as long as I have stuff to sell. We're going to go 14 once. All right, we'll keep doing them then. And uh, hopefully they get better in time as far as the production qualities. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't able to get together. We've been really busy the last couple of weeks. Uh, and funny enough, it was my fault. Uh, I just, I wasn't able to get a hold of my brother this week. And it's, I just put it off to the last second. And I realized this morning, and then I sent him a text this morning. I'm like, oh, shit. I forgot. So we're going to go 14 twice. Uh, and we've been driving a lot around picking and uh, doing stuff. So we didn't get a chance to just didn't get a chance to get together. That's all. It'll, it'll happen once in a while. So hopefully next week. Uh, he just doesn't know the fine art of pirate ship because he doesn't do eBay and stuff like that. And I have to show him what to do just to make sure that we're on the same road, uh, same page with that sort of thing so that he, he has a good understanding of what's going on, but he might be in the chat tonight. I don't know. All right. We're going to sell these $14 sold. to Wubba. I think, right? Was it Wubba? Did I spell your name right, Wubba? Two Bs? Yeah, okay. 14. Lurking in the chat, yeah. Probably, I don't know. Uh, he's a busy guy, too, so. Uh, before I bring them out, uh, is anybody really going to, besides Harlan, uh, for his bathroom reading pleasure, is anybody really going to be interested in mid-90s uh, some most of them are mid to late nineties Playboy magazines. Uh, I want to make sure that everybody wants me to even bring them out. I have forty two of them. I won't sell forty two at a time, uh, but uh, if you guys are interested in that, I'll bring them out. If not, well, we'll leave them in the thing, and I'll just sell them some other time. All right, Dan. I hope you're ready. We're gonna do the games now. I'll check on that for you, Wubba. 
Not Playboys. They have internet. Okay. I thought maybe. I know Harlan was interested. I'm still waiting on uh, both Eric's and Webba's, but that doesn't mean anything. Sometimes it takes a little while to come through. So, All right. Here we go. These are vintage NES games. There's 15, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 games in here. Um, sadly, the case that's holding them uh, lost the cover somewhere along the line. These came from the hoarder house. Uh, so the case lost the cover, but this case was worth quite a bit of money. So uh, I will send it just like it is uh, in this case. So we'll go ahead and show you what's in here. They're in really good condition. Uh, this one is Dragon Warrior 15. Good good start, Daryl. Or is it Darrell? Dragon Warrior. Uh, I tested every one of these, and they do work. Uh, Tecmo. No, this is not Tecmo. This is John Elway's quarterback. $20 of Steven Strait. Bayou Billy. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. 22 No, this is... There's a display that... It has a cover that goes on it. It wasn't part of the display unit. I can't remember what they're called, but they're, it's a it's an actual thing. It was an aftermarket thing you could buy. Big Bird's Hide and Seek, or Hide and Speak. This was a very, very simple game. Uh, for some reason, we've got some white stuff on it. It's not, uh, not anything illegal. Somebody paid $7 for this one. This is Rad Racer. Uh, we got Fisher Price Perfect Fit. Uh, it's another simple kids game. Tetris 2. Look at that. Tetris 2. Now I got too much light over here. Tetris 2. Uh, ice Hockey. 30 dollars to bargain resale so far. Yeah, I'm not sure that they're rare. Uh, here's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They're rare in this condition. Um, I don't know how well it comes across, but uh, they're in pretty decent shape. Looks like they've been kept in this thing their entire lives. So they're in fantastic condition, and they all do play. Uh, I have some Battletech figures, uh, Derek, that I can auction off. I'll do that next. Yeah, the labels on these are really nice. Uh, Jalico bases loaded. This is Ring King. Data East made this one. I, w I wish that he had some bigger, uh, higher end games in this thing because there would have been some money in here the way these things uh, look. They're just beautiful. Uh, Blaster Master. And if there is any damage on any of them, I'll let you guys know. I did show you the white, whatever the white substance is, a little tiny uh, piece up there. 35 to Rob Bowman. Uh, Jeopardy has a little bit of a sticker residue. The rest of the label looks decent. Most of these I actually physically took apart and cleaned, not all of them. Uh, I'll check and see. If there's any five screw games, I'm not sure. I didn't, I didn't delve that in depth. This is Excite Bike. Everybody's got to have Excite Bike. It's a really nice copy of Excite Bike. And finally, this one has some stickers on it. Looks like it was a rental. No, it's $9. So it was sold by Entertainment Exchange for $9. Uh, Commando. Destroy the enemy. So we'll look on the backs. Uh, no, these so far are all free screw. This one, uh, Rad Racer did have some damage. We're at 35 to Rob Bowman. Five screw just means that they're a little bit older, I think. 
Now, they may play differently in your Nintendo. This one does have a gold label on the back. I don't know if that means anything. Uh, it says 1985 Nintendo. The game pack contains batteries. Uh, I did not try the saves on these, so the batteries may be bad. But, uh, but anyway, so there you go. 15 games. We're at 30 Five dollars to Rob Bowman, and I'm going to put these back. You guys can continue to bid while I'm doing that. So did, did you didn't get screwed? You had at least one five screw in there. I don't know. I didn't see any. I don't pay that much attention. Which one, Dan? Look like all three screws to me. Here we go. See, we're selling on eBay too. I just sold uh, Just Dance 2016. All right. We're going to go once. $35 going once. Great deal. Oh, we got 37 from Travis. There you go, Travis. You saw something in there. The last one I put in. Commando? No. I think you're... Oh, you're right. <laughs> so there you go. Dan was right. Dan was right. Uh, Commando was a five-screw. Five I think that means they're older. 1985 Nintendo. That's all I know. So Commando was a five screw. If that means anything to you. We're at 37 going once. And there might be more. I don't know. I didn't look that close. So we're not going to sell any Playboys tonight because nobody seemed to be interested in them. If somebody wants 42 Playboys uh, from the mid-90s, Jenny, Jenny McCarthy's in one of them. I know that for sure. Uh, the Seinfeld episode, the Seinfeld ver uh, issue. Uh, that one's worth 10 or 12 bucks, but I, I didn't look hard enough to see what the rest of them are worth. Probably for 5 to $10 a piece, I'm going to guess. Uh, but it seems like nobody wants them. I'll send them your way, Dan. 37 twice. It'll come with a free bottle of hand sanitizer. So I think I still have some left. All right. Give you guys a couple more seconds to, uh, to think about this one. A good deal. $37. And we're going to sell it to Travis. Travis sold $37. There you go. You guys wonder, this is all I do. <laughs> I just write. Yeah, that was a steal. Uh, $37 in your name. And if I don't know your name because... You're using a pseudonym. I just write your pseudonym, your your YouTube name. So. All right. All right, we're going to see if anybody's interested in this kind of stuff. And I've got, oh, I did say that uh, I was going to sell some more of that Battletech stuff for Derek. It's figures, Derek. So we're going to open this up. These things are hard to open. Oh, there we go. All right, well, uh, I haven't looked into this one, so I'm not sure what's in here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on, let me start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one of these guys. Um, 
We'll hold them up one at a time. There's the first guy. Uh, he says Ralph Partha on the bottom. They all do. This guy looks like he might be missing an arm, and I think it's in here. So there you go. Little robot. They're all robots. Uh, this guy also looks like he might, the arm might go to this one or that one. I'm not sure. There are some extra parts in here, and Derek knows exactly what these things are. So we got Derek at 25. Uh, Wubba is at 50. Holy Lord. Wubba coming in at 50 bucks. Uh, here's one of those guys. Maybe if I set them down over here, you guys can see them. I will do better with lighting next week. I didn't realize the lighting was going to be. We put new shelves out here. What about in at fifty dollars? These are cool little guys. I wish I knew more about them. Uh, but for me, this is too much work. So this guy got tiny skinny legs. It's just the one case. NASCAR man is in at 52. I think this is the last case of this, these particular ones I have. I might actually have one more. I'll have to look. This guy's big and thick. It's a tiny little guy. It looks like he might be missing an arm too. There, there you go. Is that better? I'll go back through them. Uh, this guy might be missing an arm as well. There is some parts in here, but I don't know if the parts for these particular guys are in here. It's hard to get the right lighting, but this guy's complete. No, nope, he's missing an arm too. This guy's complete. I'm not sure if all the pieces are in here, uh, Derek. I did find this little piece. Looks like a gun or something. Part of one of these guys. Like I said, I really haven't looked into any of these. Most of these guys are complete. I mean, I'll, I'll say it if I think they're missing something. This guy is, but he's got the piece. He's running. Yeah, some of these are really good. I think some of you guys did your research. Uh, so the blue guy that was missing a piece, a white guy and a green guy that was missing a piece, they all have them. Here's a red guy piece. Yeah, some of these these some of these could be really good. I don't know. This guy looks complete. Still at fifty-two dollars with Derek. Uh, this guy looks like he has his pieces. You can see the pieces there, and this is that guy. This guy took good care of his stuff, but these are pretty fragile, as Derek Derek will tell you. These are not chess pieces. These are um, Battletech figures. It is a similar, I think, to Dungeons and Dragons and things like that. Uh, Derek and Wubba seem to know what they've got. And Derek repairs them. NASCAR man repairs them. This is another guy. I don't think I've shown him. Another guy still at fifty-two dollars to Derek. We're gonna go fifty-two once. Uh, I think I've so showed the rest of these guys. I like this guy. He's got the big old gun on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting them back, and then I'll count them up again. I'm not sure all the pieces are in here, Derek, but there are a good amount of pieces, and I'll just leave them right in here. Anything that I found in here will stay in here. I may have another container of these for next week. I'm not sure. I thought I had one more, but it, it wasn't up here in the office. 
So it must be downstairs. Uh, and we'll go ahead and auction them off next week too, if I do. Uh, this guy had a very big collection of interesting things. Again, this is from the hoarder house. So, oh boy, I messed up my screen. There we go. All right, we're going to go $52 twice. For a whole table, I play on a 22 by 22 tables. Huge setup, yeah. I don't know. Like I said, this is out of my league. I forgot to put the, the padding in there. And he kept them in these. I don't know if these are specially made for these guys, but he kept them in these nice uh, containers. So we're going to go ahead and sell this one to Derek. $52 sold. Goodbye, Derek. I, I hope you make a ton of money off of these. Open that up so I can put your tag in there. Goodbye, Derek. All right. I think you guys could probably spy what I'm selling next. Uh, it's right here. And we'll just go ahead and start with the games. Payment received. I sold another. Right on, on eBay. Nice. All right. So we've got Wii Carnival games. Uh, I think these all have their manuals and discs, and they all look pretty decent. So Wii Carnival games. We got Wii Fit Plus. Manual. Everything's in here. Uh, NCAA Football 09 All Play. The manual and disc. Madden 07, manual and disc, $20 to Steven Strait, Zumba, join the party, Zumba Fitness, manual and disc, We Legends of Rock, Tar Hero 3, complete, and Just Dance 2014, complete, and a Wii. Uh, this is tested. It's complete. It has the GameCube compatibility. The uh, I'll check for you, Derek. Twenty-four dollars to Travis. Uh, we have one Wii Mote. We have an official power cord. We have a sensor bar with a thing on it that I didn't want to take off because it looked like it's glued on. Somebody super glued it on there. We have the AV cables and I'll throw in an uncheck. So you get a whole system with one, two, three, four, five, six games. Six games and a system. All the games look good. The system plays. Everything's checked out. I did... Um, Reset it to factory settings and, and did whatever the latest update was on it, as I do with every Wii. $32 to, or 35 to Philly Picker. You came in a little bit after Philly Picker there, Stephen. 40 to bargain resell. Uh, let's see, Derek, Eric, and everybody, I think, has paid up so far. We're good. $42 to Stephen Strait. Oh, and I forgot to add, it has the base with it. I don't have the clear part that goes on the bottom, but it does have the base. And these are those boxes I were talking about. They, they were, they're cut out, and all my auction stuff fits right in there. Uh, 42 to Stephen Strait so far. This is, what, $100 worth of, worth of stuff right now on eBay? They're doing really well. I've been, I've been finding a few Wii's I've got. Five upstairs right now. Uh, and I figured I'd let you guys have a little bit of the fun as well. 
Uh, Harlan, you did. Nobody wanted it. So <laughs> if you want, if you want 42 mid nineties, mid to late nineties playboys, hit me up and uh, make me an offer. One does have Jenny McCarthy in it. So, but nobody else wanted to wanted them. So if, if you want them, they're yours, man. 42 once. A Wii, and what did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. A Wii and seven games. $42. I have one more game lot for tonight. It's a mixed game lot. I do have some CDs uh, to sell. And I have a, a lot of newsletters that you guys might be interested. I'm going to go 42 twice. We're flying right through it tonight, guys. We're doing well. Again, I don't know if Karen's come in. I haven't seen her. Uh, she hasn't bid on anything. She's here. Karen, if you are still waiting on 65 and $29 from you, um, I'm sure that the PayPal address got misspelled. I couldn't figure it. I lost the email that Scott gave me to email you. So I'll have to get it back from Scott again. But uh, we're going to sell this Wii system with some games all working. going to go ahead and sell it, guys. Sold to Stephen Strait. $42. Great deal, Stephen. Ah, can't get the paper apart. My wife wants to give me a fan in here. It's, it's warm in this room. So when I'm doing these auctions or doing the morning shows or whatever I do recording wise, I have to keep all the doors shut so that, you know, keep the noise out. And boy, does it get warm in here. All right, we're just going to stick that in there like that. Nice. All right. We'll go ahead and do these CDs. This is music, guys. Uh, but I think it's music you guys will like. Somebody asked about a certain uh, cassette that I had last week. I had all these uh, CDs. These are all tested, um, and they're guaranteed to play, uh, even if some of them might be a little scratched up, but they are guaranteed to play. Uh, so what we have here, we'll count them up first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10. There's 12 CDs here. Uh, this first one is... I threw this one in because this is one of my all-time favorites. This is Eric Clapton from The Cradle. Uh, I listened to a little bit of it. Uh, this disc is... A, or the case is a little dirty. These Most of these came from the Hoarder House. There you go. Eric Clapton with his disc and all the paperwork and everything's in there. Good. Uh, here's the ones that I think people might be interested in. This is Black Sabbath. Uh, we sold our soul for rock and roll. There you go. We have Black Sabbath Master of Reality. Uh, these will come media mail if you buy them. Here's your disc. We have Great White Sail Away. Here's your disc. Great White Sail Away. Uh, we have another Black Sabbath, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. I love the artwork on that one. Another Black Sabbath. We've got Robert, Robert Bowman at five, Sabotage. Pink Floyd, uh, Dark Side of the Moon, a classic. We have White Zombie, uh, is it Astro Creek 2000. I like the disc in there. That's, that's pretty cool. We have Ozzy Osbourne Special Edition CD 5. Mama, I'm coming home. Let's 
seven dollars to Travis. Uh, this one doesn't have any artwork. It's Metallica. It does have it. I just don't think it's in there right. Uh, Metallica. Just uh, I don't know if this is self-titled. It just says Metallica. It has Enter Sandman, Sad but True, Holier Than Thou, The Unforgiven, Wherever I May Roam, Don't Tread on Me, True Than Never, Nothing Else Matters, or Wolf and Man, The God That Failed. My Friend of Misery and the Struggle Within. There you go. We're at $10 bargain resell. This one is Pantera. Uh, I don't know what's on this one because it's just disc only. Pantera. And one more Ozzy Osbourne. This is the Ozman Cometh. So there you go. You've got 12 classic rock and roll. Good stuff, too. Pantera. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne, uh, I put this in there because I like it. Uh, Steve, there is no shipping. Uh, shipping is all in there. There is no need to register. All you got to do is hit slicktoys at yahoo.com on PayPal and send me the money after after the auction is over. So as soon as your auction is over, uh, regardless if you win 12, 1, 7 auctions, it doesn't matter. Every auction you send me the, the PayPal payment. Uh, if you order more than one, I'll I'll try my best to uh, put them all together. Uh, but there is no extra shipping. Everything is free shipping. So there you go. 12 CDs. We're at $10 going once. I knew somebody would appreciate these. $10 onk. I guess that means once. So yeah, no registration, no shipping. Uh, usually, usually no starting bid. Uh, but there is one item tonight that I'm going to have a starting bid. $12 to Robert Bowman. And 13 to Steve. Uh, no matter what they sell for, they sell. I had one tonight go for $8 and uh, it sold. So whatever you're buying it, you're buying it. $13 going once. A lot of good music in here. Uh, like I said, some of these discs are probably scratched a little bit, or maybe even a lot, but every one of them did play. Um, I got a really cool boombox at a yard sale this week, and I needed to test it. So this is what I used to test, uh, plus the myriads of other CDs that I have. Uh, we'll see how these go. Uh, maybe I'll have some more next week. Uh, it won't be this stuff. I, I pulled out all the stuff that I know that uh, was asked for last week, like the Black Sabbath and not so uh, we'll go 13 twice but there is a lot of music in there um we'll see how we'll see how they go i'm gonna go ahead and put these back in the box Whew. we're doing good tonight folks we're doing really good I'm not as tired as I was last week. Last week was something else. I've never done an auction myself before and uh, the, the complete auction myself. And I, I got really worn out um, partially because it's warm in this room and partially because it, this is not, not an easy gig to do it by yourself. However, I wanted to try again and that's what we're doing tonight. So we're trying again. Oh, you know what, Derek? I did find some more Battletech figures for you. Uh, these one, there's not as many in this lot, but so we'll do that next. Uh, we're going to sell these for $13. Uh, Steve, just go ahead and uh, right there, S L I K. Make sure you spell it right because some people spell that wrong. So make sure you double check, spell that right, and $13 to PayPal. And these will get shipped out in the morning. So Steve Varsh, $13 sold. All right, guys, we're going to do, we're going to do another Battletech box. I still think I have one more of these somewhere, uh, but we'll do it for next week. This one isn't as good. There's not as many pieces in here. Uh, and some of these, there's a lot of extra little arms and legs, and I don't know what all this stuff is, but we'll go ahead and go through it. 
Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen figures. Uh, this one has these little tiny figures in it. I don't know what they are. Sorry about the lighting. I'll try to get you a little bit better. There we go. Against the white, it might work. These are unpainted. But there's one, two, three, four, five of that guy. Five of that guy for Battletech. Uh, we have this big tall guy. These are all metal. Everyone's been metal. Big tall guy. Skinny leg tall guy. Uh, we got another short guy, but he's a different guy. He's got a gun coming off his head. Sorry about the lighting. I will have to do better. Um, here's a big guy. Yeah, I don't know what any of these guys are. You guys, you guys know what this stuff is. I do not. So, battle tech figures is all I know. Uh, another short guy with the gun coming off the top. Jeez, I'm sounding like crazy tonight. So, I will have to call her back. But anyway, another... Small little guy with a little tiny gun. Uh, another this guy. Let me answer that phone. You guys can browse this. Hello? No, I'm doing an auction live. So what, what do you need, sweetheart? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I have gotten you two um, life jackets, one for each of the girls. Life jackets? Yes. Okay. Do you have a disc? There's another another one of these little guys, guys. Uh, you could probably go to their website. But, all right, I'm on live, so I'm, I'll have to call you back, or you can call me back later. All right, love you too, sweetheart. Bye. All right, another one of those little guys. Any interest in this lot, guys? Um, and one more of those little guys. So I don't know if the little guys, I'm going to assume they're the same. Oh, wait, there's, yeah, but wait, there's more. There's two more little guys up there. These guys have their arms sticking up. Hey, thanks, Wubba. Thanks for showing up. And another one. Plus, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a whole thing full of, looks like, arms. Uh, there's a gun of some sort. There's a bunch of that stuff in there. And one base. So, go ahead and put this all away. If you guys aren't interested, we'll go ahead and wrap that one up. These are a little bit different characters. I don't know what they are. Um, $10 to Mike Sherwood. Uh, there is no start. There's never a starting bid. It's all um, whatever you guys want to pay. Whatever goes for, it goes for. So we're at $10 right now for these Battletech figures. Uh, one, two, three. Selling like crazy tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, I think seventeen figures and some parts and pieces. Steve Ash is in at eleven. Uh, Mike is in at fifteen. This will be the last battle tech for the night. I think I might have some uh, for next week. These probably aren't as good of um, figures. Some of them are as the other ones, but it was just one that I had, so I'm going to sell them all. Oh, PayPal's asking me if I'm a robot. I don't think I'm a robot. I don't have three computers going tonight. I only have two, so I, 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 slimmed, the, I slimmed the process down a little bit. I was so worried last week that I would do this wrong. Uh, that uh, 
that I made sure that I did it right. All right, Mark, we got your payment. Uh, Steven, we got a payment from you. Derek, of course, we got your payment. Eric and everybody else. I think we're caught up on payment. So we're going to go 15 once. It will come with this case. We're going to go ahead and go 15 twice. We'll get this one out of here. We're going to do another video game lot next. And then I think we only have two more lots after that. So we'll get you guys out of here early tonight. And I have some more work to do tonight. So, And we're going to go ahead and sell this one to, to Mike. Sold. Goodbye, Mike. 15. This is going to be a mixed video game lot, but there's some good ones in there. Ooh, they're all falling out. The first two are new. Call of Duty for Xbox One. This is uh, Infinite Warfare, brand new. FIFA 18 for PS4, brand new seal. And the rest of them are not new. Uh, we have... Jimmy Neutron for GameCube. I did not test these, uh, but that disc looks pretty decent. Looks like it needs a little cleaning, but looks like it should play. Uh, so Jimmy Neutron for GameCube. We have Cars for GameCube. Again, just needs a cleaning. This came out of the same lot as the Paper Mario that I had earlier. Uh, just Dance 4 for Wii U. I believe all these have their game, their manuals and discs. We're at $10 a bargain resell. Uh, Star Fox 3. Star Fox 03 for Wii U. Connect Disneyland uh, Adventures for Xbox 360. Again, I had never seen this game before, and, and now I've sold two in the last week, last two weeks. Xbox 360, Pimp My Ride. I should play it. Bob Bowman at 15. I looked at all these discs, and they all seem to be playable. I did not test them. Uh, anything that's not playable, I take out. That I know, definitely, you know, if, if there's a lot of scratching on a game, I will take it out. And then they will go through the GFJ eventually, and they'll get sold, too. Where's the titty mags? Uh, Connie Lingus. Unless you and Harlan want some titty mags, uh, nobody else wanted them. So, I mean, I can still sell them if you guys want. There's 42 of them all together. I won't sell them at 42 because I'm not sure. But maybe 15 at a time or 12 or something. They're all mid-90s uh, to late 90s, I think. I think there's some early 90s in there, too. Test drive. Uh... Unlimited for Xbox 360. $17 to bargain resell. My son begged me for this game for years. Not years, for a long time until I bought it for him. I think I had to pay $60 for it original, but they're not worth much anymore. And 25 $21 to Rob Bowman. Uh, oh, this is a double. Uh, it has Forza. Motorsport, Forza 2, Motorsport, and Ultimate Alliance Marvel. Uh, both in the same case, so Forza 2 and Ultimate Alliance for the Xbox 360. Uh, Madden 13 for Wii U. We have the other uh, game that came with that Star Fox game, Star Fox Guard for the Wii U. No manual on this one. 25 to Steven Strait. Uh, we have Need for Speed Undercover for the Xbox 360. And I'll get you guys a count on these. This is the last game in that lot. $30 to bargain resell. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 games. 14 games in that lot, two new ones, all the rest are used. Most complete, some not. And we are at $30 to bargain resale. And there you go. There's your game lot. We're going to go once. 30. Once. Oops, once. I can't spell tonight. So, Connie Lingus, uh, if you're interested, let me know. Um, I don't think anybody wants the titty mags. Uh, we're at 31 to Rob Bowman. Not quite as much variety as I'd like tonight, but we're getting there. Uh, 32 to BBO647 and 33 again to Rob Bowman. This is most of what you're seeing tonight was finds that I, I had this weekend. So we had a really, really good weekend at yard sales. Uh, 34 to BBO647, 35 Rob Bowman. I don't know, is there something good in there? I have no idea. I don't really do a lot of research on these things because I'm not interested in selling a ton of them. I pull out a few that I know are good or I've sold in the past. Uh, 36. Nobody wants to admit they want the Playboys. We're all resellers here. Uh, I bought them. I, I admit it. Of course, I didn't pay very much for them. I wouldn't have paid more than I did. Uh, but, yeah, I have no problem admitting it. Say that name again, please. What name? Uh, Call of Duty is new sealed. Infinite Warfare. And FIFA 18 is new sealed. So this is like a $12, $15 game, something like that. I don't know, 10 or 11 maybe. Connie Lingus, I know what it means, I, but I was going to ignore it, by the way. I think it's hilarious. It's probably Dan. But yes, this one is sealed. We're at $36 to BBO647. So we're going to go once. Thirty-six once. Yeah, I knew. I knew as soon as they came in that it's probably Dan or BP. But it's okay. Yeah, Hustler was a little bit uh, better, I'd say, if you're into that sort of thing. All right, we're going to go $36 twice. Uh, 36 Connie Lingus. That's a great name, by the way. <laughs> Wish I would have thought of it. You should name my YouTube. Do you think if I name my YouTube channel like uh, your penthouse? It's, I only, I, you know, to be honest with you, I only look at them for the articles anyway. So we're going to sell this one, $36 sold. But I got a lot of people's attention, right? All right. By offering Playboys, I got a lot of people's attention. I don't even, didn't sell them, but I got their attention. Especially Connie's. Uh, who bought that one? Uh, thirty-six dollars to BB O six four seven. All right, you guys are going to want to wait around to the last lot. I promise you, it is the most special lot I've ever had. But we have one more before that. This is a huge lot of stuffs. So first. We have, I think these are all that. These are all Antiques Roadshow Insiders. Uh, I haven't counted them, but there's a lot of them there. 
Uh, these are from the early to mid 2000s, I think. That is 2003. That is 2007. Uh, 2004. We can give them a count, but this is all Antiques Roadshow Insider. So a lot of things that were on the shows are in these things. So one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's a lot of these. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, I've gone through a lot of these. I've had these for years. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 30. there's 36 Antiques Roadshow Insiders. And they're all ranging from, say, 2003 to 2007. I don't know if there is a complete set here. Uh, but there is a lot of them. It gives you a lot of information on the things that sold uh, or were brought into Antiques Roadshow during those days. They even have the uh, Wienermobile in here. So there's that. 30-something odd of those. Now, these will be shipped media mail if anybody is interested uh, because there are no advertisements. Now, these are Auburn Cord Duesenberg Club newsletters. These are from... I don't know if there's a date on them, but they look to be maybe 70s, 1970s, I'm going to guess. I'll let you know here in a second, BB. Uh, I'm trying to see a date on these. I've had these for a long time as well. Uh, I just thought they were cool. 1982 or 1983. So 80s. These are from the 80s. Uh, you get one. This is uh, no, number two, 1983. Number four, 1982. So that's two. 1986, three. 1986, four. 1986, five. 1986, six. 19, oh, this is from 2000. So that's seven. And it's stuck. So this last one, these two have a little bit of damage. Uh, 1986 and 2000. So there's eight of the, I think eight of those. Brett. 12 to never too old. They are cool. I don't know uh, what's going on with them. This one's a little bit damaged, so just understand that. Okay. And we have these. These are children's activities for home and school. This one's from April 1943. This one's from March of 1943. I do know that the October issues of these, the Halloween issues, tend to do well. Uh, this is May 1945, June 1945, September 1943. And I haven't looked through these. I just got these this weekend. Uh, January 1943. Some of them are bigger than others. February 1942. So going way back. They even had the lady's name on them. Uh, these were, a school teacher had them. And she said she bought them because she thought they were cool. She never used them. March 1943. Uh, this one is really hard to read. April 1942. January 1944. February 1944. We're at $20 with Mike Sherwood. Uh, March 1944. This is the first time I've gone through them, by the way. Yeah, he might have. Uh, April 1944. May 1944. June 1944. We might have a whole uh, year of 1944 in here. Uh, December 1944. I haven't seen any of the October ones, though. Uh, September 1984. March 1943. February 1943. And January 1943. I'll give these a count. Texas Bandit is up to $25. Again, these will be shipped media mail, and it comes with all the anti trode show. Uh, magazines, all the Auburn Court Duesenberg Club newsletters, and all the children's activities. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 
19, 20 of those. So we had 30 some uh, Antiques Roadshow, 20 of these, and I think seven or eight of the Duesenberg newsletters. So that's what you'll get for one money. We're at $30 and never too old. $30. Some of you guys might have spotted the next item on the thumbnail picture. So I hope I hope you did, but it's more than what it looks like. But it's cool. So we're gonna go thirty dollars once. Again, Auburn Core Duesenberg newsletters from the eighties mostly. Antiques Roadshow from the mid 2000s, early to mid 2000s, and 1940s children's activities books. This is going to be a heavy, heavy box, but media mail is my friend. So it may take a while to get to you, but it'll get there. Just let me know when it does. You can let me know at the next auction or whatever. We can go 30 twice. And there's one more lot after this. It's a single item. It's a famous item. That's all I'm going to say. Very famous. Okay. Uh, I did get closeout discount merch. Got your payment. And we're going to sell these for $30. $30 sold. Congratulations to Never Too Old. So we're going to put your name on these and we'll get them out to you tomorrow. Kind of sad to see those Antiques Roadshow ones go, but they've been taking up space in my house for years. I'll look through them all. Uh, I, it's time. All right, guys. Here is the final item up for sale. This may look familiar to all of you. However, this is an autographed copy by the bearded picker himself. As you can see, it's a Scott Zoki BP. Uh, I I can authenticate this. I should. I think I have pictures of this being signed. Uh, we're going to start this one out. Let's start it out at fifteen dollars. Uh, that'll help recover uh, my uh, my cost into it. I had to travel all the way to Cincinnati. Well, I said fifteen. But anyway, this is signed by, or a bargain resale. There you go, 15. Uh, this is signed by Scott uh, from his famous Mop Monopoly for Millennials video. I do have two more copies of this. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll sell another one and see how this one goes. But we're at $15 to bargain resale. Now, guys, you know I paid 19 what, 19 almost $20 for this game. I have 26 of these things upstairs, but only a couple signed by Scott. So I thought it would be great to, uh, to go ahead and do that. And uh, somebody will appreciate it. So $15 to bargain resale. AB Dragons has it at 20. Uh, remember, uh, this is just on the plastic outer uh, thing. So this may become, um, be careful with it. Uh, bargain resale is at $22. There's only a couple copies of this, guys. Uh, I thought it would be a great. I also got Harlan to sign the uh, the um, Dave Ramsey book that he's in, but that one's not for sale because I only have one copy of that. If I ever get a second copy, we'll go ahead and auction that one off too. Uh, Twenty-two dollars to bargain resell. There we go. We covered my cost into it. <laughs> There's only one one being sold right now. I may sell the second one. Uh, at a future auction, and I may keep one, or I may give one away eventually. Uh, AB Dragons is in at $23. I had to travel like five hours to get this, you know. Just this one signature. Uh, this is some of the fun we had while we were in uh, near Cincinnati on the 127 yard sale, uh, meeting up with Scott and Harland and me getting them to sign their respective uh, famous items. So 
$23 to AB Dragons. And this will go out in the morning, uh, as well as everything else. As long as all the payments come in, uh, we should be able to uh, get everything. Whole numbers only, wild man. Whole numbers only. I'm going to have to strike that bid down, unless it's 24 Hey, if that if that works for you, uh, AB, that's fine, and that gives us a chance to meet in person anyway. AB doesn't live that far from me. If you want to work that out, hit me up on Facebook, and perhaps we can meet up somewhere. Um, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I mean, AB can win it. You can win it. I'll ship it, or I'll sell it. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're just gonna sell this thing. So 23 to AB, we're going to go once. So we're going to find out exactly how much Scott is worth tonight. $23 so far is what Scott is worth. Hey, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, return there. I made, made $3 on this one. <laughs> how come I can't spell once tonight? Uh, 23, oh, I said whole numbers only, wild man. Whole numbers only. I'll check that. Never too old. I'm still learning first names. Uh, so associating names with. There you go. $24. <laughs> yeah, we can't do 20. We can't do that because then it would just get crazy. Uh, I gotcha. Carlene. There you go. Carlene, I gotcha. $24 to Wildman. AB, if you want it, let me know. I know you were. That's fine. I it's all right. But uh BP is worth you pay me to take it. <laughs> I'm not paying anybody to take it. <laughs> uh I had this I had this idea a long time ago, but uh with the corona and things like that, we weren't able to meet up because the Nashville gathering was uh canceled and so we uh we weren't able to meet up, but uh, we'll go 24 once. Oh, $25 to AB. And like I said, AB, uh, if if you want to uh, hit me up on Facebook if you win this one. And uh, hit me up on Facebook anyway. I have... 20 some odd copies of this. I could get another one eventually. <laughs> another one signed. But I was I appreciate Scott uh signing this. Uh it meant a lot to me and I'm sure it means a lot to whoever wins it too. Is this just for one? This is just for one, of course. I'm not giving you all those. <laughs> Uh, Tracy comes in at $26 for the signed Bearded Picker Monopoly for Millennials game. Either way, AB, if you win this or not, hit me up. Uh, we'll work something out maybe for one of the other ones. Like I said, I have three copies. Uh, I may keep one and I may give one away. I may sell it. Or I made, who knows? We'll see. But either way, I'd, I'd like to meet up with you. So we're going to go 26 once. To Tracy. And one more time, I haven't seen Karen in here. Uh, Karen, from last week's auctions, uh, I didn't receive your payment. I'm not sure whether you spelled my PayPal wrong or what happened with that. Uh, I will get your email address again from Scott and try to email you again. All right. That sounds like a plan. Uh, but Karen, if you're in here, uh, make sure that you double check where you sent the, uh, the uh, payment. We're going to go 26 twice to Tracy.
and uh big guy one five four seven or whatever uh i did get your payment finally you sent it to silk toys instead of slick toys uh but i registered that email address and when i did it came through so if you guys do misspell it that way it will come through to me uh if you sm misspell it with a c it will not 27 dollars to wild man Again, this is a signed, official signed copy of Monopoly for Millennials by the bearded picker himself, Scott Zilke. Signed by the famous Monopoly for Millennials YouTube video superstar, Scott Zilke. 27 going once. You guys rock. Oh, we got Tracy coming in at $28. I should have done a preview and showed this, but I wanted to surprise everybody at the end of the, the video tonight uh, with what I had. So we're at 28, 29, the wild man. Oops. <laughs> 20. I don't know why I typed in 29 like that. Oh, it's getting late. 10 o'clock Eastern. But uh, I want to thank everybody while we're uh, debating this, uh, we're, we're fighting this one out. Uh, for coming out tonight. Um, I appreciate every moment of it. You guys have been really good to me. I know I have a small YouTube channel. I know I don't put a lot of content out there. Uh, Tracy Dustin in at 30, and I appreciate the support. You guys have been nothing but wonderful and uh, pretty smooth sailing uh, with these auctions and hope to continue doing them. We have Wildman in at 31. Um, for a long time to come. Uh, there will be weeks, obviously, that we can't. Uh, hopefully, we get together with my brother or even my brother-in-law, and we come in and, and give you more variety of stuff. Uh, generally, you're going to you're gonna get uh, what I found over the weekend at Yard Sales. All right, Rob, thanks for showing up. Uh, we'll get your stuff out to you tomorrow. Uh, and that goes for everybody. We're going to send everything in the morning. We have Wild Man in at $31. Tracy is out. So we're going to go 31 once. Uh, anybody else interested? Get your bid in now. Uh, you can have one of three copies of signed by the bearded picker himself, Monopoly for Millennials, $31. We're going to go twice. $31 going twice. We'll give you guys a couple more minutes to get in. Uh, see what's going on. Noble right there. Noble. Monopoly for Millennials. The famous bearded picker autograph copy. Gonna go for $31. No problem, Bargains. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for uh, bidding. Um, I appreciate every moment of you guys for real. Um, and I'm trying to offer good quality stuff or, or even fun stuff like this. Uh, but we're going to sell this. Wild man, you got it. $31 sold. And we'll try to keep the number of copies to a minimum so there's not a lot out there. Uh, so right now there's three. Hopefully it stays three, maybe four or five copies of this uh, so that maybe in the future we'll auction another one off. Uh, but I enjoyed doing it tonight. Wild man, of course, you can see my uh, payment information right there. Make sure you spell it all right, and we'll get going. But uh, enjoy this. Uh, this is a, almost one of a kind right here. <laughs> so I knew you guys would enjoy it. But uh, AB, hit me up. Uh, I There's another sale. I, I bought some stuff today, Merchant Fulfill, for Amazon. So those of you who are having issues with Amazon earlier, it's working for me. Uh, right now so hopefully that's a good sign to all of you uh thanks for showing up tonight let me uh let me get this labeled so we know who it goes to wild man and we sold it for 31 dollars. all right guys we're gonna end it uh thanks again for showing up thanks for uh all you guys do for me and uh hopefully you guys enjoy the content of the auction show as well as the morning show Show up in the morning. Uh, I'm sure we're doing a show in the morning. We usually do on a Tuesday morning. Uh, and uh, see you guys then. You guys all have a good night.
I'm hitting the end broadcast button, but it doesn't want to end. All right, guys.